23rd annual VAPA Gala. And first ever VAPA Gala Live. We are your hosts, Evelyn Love. And Jubik Suma. And we're going to be starting off tonight by introducing... Well, wait, some... Evelyn. Are you going to explain what the VAPA Gala is? Right. Okay, so the VAPA Gala is an event where we get to appreciate and celebrate everyone who's been a part of the VAPA Academy, specifically some seniors who stood out this year. But first, we will start with the dance awards. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hendricks, the Director of Dance here at CO, and I'm proud to be presenting this year's Dance Department Awards to some very deserving seniors. The first two dancers I'd like to recognize are receiving the Perseverance in Dance Award. These two ladies have been a part of the Dance Department all four years at CO. It's been an honor and a pleasure to watch these two dancers grow from first-time dancers in Dance One to developed and poised performers as members of Hype. These two girls have put in the time, the effort, and the hard work it takes to make it in the performing arts world. Congratulations to Alyssa Miranda and Aaliyah Rupert for their perseverance in dance. Thank you for never giving up. The next pair of dancers I'd like to recognize represent our men in Hype. Chris Pizarro and Manny Tellez. Both of these young men are third year members in Hype Dance Company and they've worked hard to create a brotherhood within the company. Chris is one of our student directors this year and even expanded the Hype philosophy into the first ever breakdance crew at Kasunas Oaks. His fearless leadership and willingness to help make him invaluable. Manny began Hype as a sophomore and he quickly began a big part of our Hype family. His pleasant smile, brotherly nature, and sometimes fun-loving demeanor make him irreplaceable. To the two sons I never had, thank you for all you do to make hype feel like home. Finally, to recognize our top achievers in dance, our four-year company dancers, Trinity Concepcion, Jenna Emmons, Mila Gonzalez, Jasmine Pincombe, and Emma Stevenson. These ladies entered hype as a fierce cohort of dancers that would raise the bar and inspire their fellow dancers for years. Trinity has worked tirelessly as a member of Hype and this year has become a real powerhouse dancer. She's grown tremendously as a performer and choreographer and has shown great dedication as a company dancer. Jenna, Mila, Jasmine, and Emma round out our student director team. Together with Chris, they've led our company with pride and grace. Jenna was the proud recipient of this year's Theater and Dance Department Award presented to her at the Senior Awards Ceremony. Her dedication to the Performing Arts Department shines through all she does, and we appreciate her compassionate leadership in Hype. Mila, Jasmine, and Emma each bring something unique to Hype. Mila motivates and inspires dancers with her precision and ability to embody any genre of dance with simplicity. Jasmine's hard-hitting hip-hop moves leave us amazed at how she executes such powerful moves with such ease and attitude. Emma's passionate performances dazzle dancers and audiences alike and motivate everyone to work toward perfection. To each of these four-year company members, I thank you and dread saying goodbye. You've been a source of consistency and creativity for the last four years. Your impact on hype will not be forgotten and your legacy will live on for years to come. Congratulations to all 17 seniors in Hype this year. You should all be proud of everything you've worked to accomplish and everything you've created. We will miss you greatly and wish nothing but the best for each of you.
up next, here to present the Theater Awards are Seamaz and Mr. Kuna. We would like to recognize the following students for their contributions to CO's theater program. They have each completed many class hours of advanced theater instruction and have been hardworking cast and crew members in many of our productions. The following students have completed 30 units of advanced coursework. Brianna Berry, Kylie Lang, Amanda Smith, and Jarek Suba. The following students have completed 40 units of advanced coursework. Abigail Burt, Skyly Close, and Jessica White. And the following student has completed 50 units of advanced coursework. Sam DeLoffey. We would also like to recognize Karina Powner for her significant contributions to our Thespian Society. Although her title was social media manager and webmaster, Karina performed above and beyond her expected duties and provided our club with exceptional leadership. Thank you, Karina, for your dedication to Thespian Society. The Award for Excellence in Theater Arts goes to senior Abigail Burt. Abby graduates from the VAPA pathway with 95 units of theater and vocal study. From Miss Flannery, the tap dancing, mean-spirited boss of the stenographers, to children's book character Junie B. Jones, we will always remember Abby's remarkable range as an actor and her energy on stage. Abby was also recognized by the Sacramento Regional Theater Association with a nomination for her performance as Pinocchio in Shrek. And she was slated to play the title role in the spring production of Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. In auditions for Cinderella this year, Abby won the staff over with her triple threat performance. Abby is a leader and a role model, and we are honored to present her with this award. After high school, she plans to take a gap year to go on a short-term mission trip, and she will be attending Biola University to major in worship arts in the fall of 2021. Congratulations, Abby. Hi, seniors. Oh my gosh, what an honor it's been to have the opportunity to get to be your teacher and your director. For some of you, it's been five years. Five years of creating fantastic theater memories together. Thank you for that. Please remember you always have a home with Wolfpack Performing Arts and do come back and share your future successes with us. We definitely want to know. As you move forward, you guys, please remember these two things, positive self-talk and never let your nerves keep you from going for what you want. Now is the time to seize the day and get out there and shine that light and make your dreams come true. Best wishes to you always. Take good care. All right, up next to present the instrumental awards, we have Mr. Mango, Mrs. Mango, and Seamaz. The Leonard Bernstein Musicality Award for Orchestra honors the student whose musical contributions, dedication, and creativity set them apart as deserving of the highest recognition of their achievements. This year's recipient can be found not only performing with orchestra, but also performing and collaborating with other musicians on campus. They are a leader in the classroom, often leading their peers through warm-ups and pieces of music, and as a musician, they provide support in the violin section for both orchestra and pit orchestra. Overall, their energy brings a positive spirit to every rehearsal and performance. It is my pleasure to present the Leonard Bernstein Musicality Award for Orchestra to Mavis Sung. The Woody Herman Award for Jazz is given each year to an outstanding junior. This year's recipient has been in the band program since he was in the seventh grade, starting on the clarinet and then switching to trumpet. He has held down the trumpet section in the jazz band because of his consistency and his dependability, not to mention his musicianship and his leadership. Congratulations, Ian Dalrymple. We are all so proud of you and can't wait to see what's in store for you in your upcoming senior year. The Henry Fillmore Award for Band is awarded to the year's top junior who exemplifies the four main pillars of our band program, musicality, character, service, and leadership. This year's recipient is an immensely talented musician, giving critical performances in our wind ensemble, jazz band, pit orchestra, marching band, and chamber music ensembles over the years. 
These performances seem so effortless due to his dedication in the practice room, honing his skill and perfecting his craft. Yet, his talent and skill are equally matched by his kind, caring, and encouraging personality towards staff and peers alike. I can say with certainty that I feel fortunate to make music with him and learn with him. And I look forward to seeing him grow over his senior year in maturity and helping others around him to do the same. Congratulations, Matthew Fajardo, for earning this year's Henry Fillmore Award for band. The director's award for orchestra is given to the student for their musicality, character, service, and leadership in orchestra. I had the joy of teaching this young lady to play trombone in the seventh grade band until I learned of her true passion, the cello, and she can really play that cello. Sophia Lau was the first Wolfpack Orchestra member to audition and be accepted into the California Allstate String Orchestra, not just once, but twice, again as, as a freshman last year and again as a sophomore. She is a fantastic musician and a wonderful leader in the orchestra. Congratulations, Sophia. We are all so proud of you and your positive contributions to our orchestra. The Leonard Bernstein Musicality Award for Band honors a student whose musical contributions, dedication, and creativity set them apart as deserving of the highest recognition for their achievements. This past four years, this recipient has brought leadership to the football field and band room. As an exceptional musician, they have been a part of Wind Ensemble for three years, and this year took on the leadership role of woodwind captain in marching band. They are a person of great character and integrity, and their love and passion for the band program hasn't gone unnoticed. It is my pleasure to present the Leonard Bernstein Musicality Award for Band to Kashia Jensen. As the name implies, the Quincy Jones Musicality Award is earned by a top musician in the jazz program, which this year's recipient certainly is. Talented and skilled in both section work and solo improvisation, this young man has added greatly to the depth and credibility of our jazz band program. But in my observation, that's not his primary goal. First and foremost, he loves to create and perform music. A young man of few words, he chooses to let his playing do the talking, a characteristic most revered among serious musicians and he has some serious things to say. When not performing with our jazz band, wind ensemble, marching band, or chamber groups, he can almost certainly be found in the practice room, fine-tuning his craft. Quincy Jones is a legit musician, arranger, and composer, and so is this year's award recipient. Congratulations to Elijah Krogstad for earning this year's Quincy Jones Musicality Award for Jazz. The Director's Award for Band is given to a band student who has gone above and beyond through their musicality and their leadership. I can recall talking with this young lady prior to her joining band way back in seventh grade. She was on the fence about joining due to her other commitments. And I remember telling her that she would be our 100th member in seventh grade band that year. And then she was hooked. Over these six years, I have watched this student musician grow in her maturity her musicality, as well as her leadership skills, all the way to band captain. Congratulations, Nicole Lee. You are most deserving of this director's award for band. The National School Orchestra Award is given to the program's top senior who has consistently exhibited the qualities of musicality, character, service, and leadership. This year's recipient has been a part of the program since the beginning. When she was just an eighth grader, she played alongside her sister, other high school students and professionals in the pit orchestra for our spring musical and has been a part of that ensemble every year since. She has also been integral in growing our young orchestra program to prominence and can always be counted on to serve and lead within the ensemble. Along with being a talented and skilled musician, she is also a kind and compassionate force within our orchestra. It is with great pride and joy that I present this year's National School Orchestra Award to Ilan Tseng. 
the Louis Armstrong Award for Jazz honors an outstanding high school jazz musician. This year's recipient can be found with an instrument in their hand at all times, from the guitar and banjo in the pit orchestra to the guitar and bass in jazz band, playing anything from funk, blues, and swing to classical guitar. With a love for performing music, it has taken them four years to join jazz band, and within that one year, they become a valuable member of the ensemble, bringing love, pride, and joy to the group while also making sure no one is left behind. It is my pleasure to present the Louis Armstrong Award for Jazz to Tyler Burke. And now for our final award. The John Philip Sousa Award is the top award for our band program and is awarded to a deserving senior who consistently displays musicality, character, service, and leadership within our band program. It is also a kind of most valuable player award in the sense that the award recipient usually has a critical impact on a wide range of activities within the band program. This year's recipient certainly did that. During his tenure in high school, he has made a plethora of significant contributions in the marching band, wind ensemble, jazz band, and chamber ensembles, just to name a few. But for me, the highlight of this high school, his high school career, came last year during the run of our spring musical Shrek, when he literally saved the show. Before one performance, I received a call from our primary drum set player. He was caught in standstill traffic on the 99 and would not be able to make the performance. I called this award recipient and begged him to fill in, which he did spectacularly. It was because of his hard work and dedication and practice that he was able to play the part well, but it was his character and his heart for service that prompted him to say yes in the first place. When he could have said no, I can say from the heart that I will miss this young man and that I look forward to the more stories of how he has saved the day in others' lives. It is with great pride and joy that I present this year's John Philip Sousa Award to Jared Brown. To the Kasunas Oaks High School class of 2020 and to my first seven to senior class, I am so very proud of each and every one of you. I have watched you blossom into fine young men and women and a wonderful band family. Now, as you turn the page on this chapter and into the next, I hope you will remember the things that you learned in my middle school band room. Always look where you're going, hard work pays off, and family is everything. I hope also that music will still be a part of your lives in and after college in some capacity. Good skill to you now and always, and congratulations for finishing strong.
Ball, the director of vocal music at Casinos Oaks High School. I'm here to present the Vocal Music Awards for the senior class of 2020. This is always such a hard decision for me because all of my students are deserving of recognition for their hard work and dedication to our vocal program and their individual growth in music. The first five students I would like to recognize using the COHS pillar words. These students stand out in my mind when the words respectful, responsible, honorable and engaged are spoken. For respectful, the award goes to Lauren Garcia. Lauren exhibits respect in so many ways. She is not just respectful to me, even when she disagrees with me, but she is respectful with her peers, making sure all are included and heard. For responsible, the award goes to Allison Fong and Johanna Teich. These girls are my dress organizers and fitters and help me in so many ways. Allison has helped to make sure that birthdays are recognized in every class in the vocal program. And Johanna made sure my various classroom tasks were taken care of over her years in choir, and especially before and after my medical leave. For honorable, the award goes to Austin Sloan. Austin has been a constant in my choirs. He has continually encouraged his choir peers to work hard and always has done his best. It has been an honor to watch him grow over the last four years of being in choir. For engaged, the award goes to Corinne Bernards. Corinne is eager to learn. She is willing to do her part wherever she is placed and works hard to do her best. This year, Corinne has been in both vocal jazz and vocal ensemble depending on what her schedule would allow. She just wanted to make sure she kept singing wherever she was put. She is bright and her smile is warm and engaging to all who meet her. The final award I would like to give is the Vocal Music Award. The recipient of this year's Vocal Music Award began her singing journey at COHS in Intro to Concert Choir and then the Vocal Ensemble for the past two years. It has been a joy to watch her grow and mature in her character as well as her voice and musicianship skills. This young woman has been an ever-present force for good in the musical arts. Her enthusiasm for her art and craft is matched only by her dedication to her fellow teammates and her own personal code of excellence. This student will be taking a gap year to serve in mission work and get a job so she can then attend Biola University as a worship arts major. I am confident that she has what it takes to go far in life. It is with great pride and honor that I give this year's Vocal Music Award to Abigail Burt. Tonight you fly so high up in the vanilla sky. Melted tin beads cast your fortune in a glass of wine. Little fish, the moon or dolphin, see the silver shine. This is your time, this is your day. Not at all.
The visual and performing arts pathway is designed to provide students who have a strong desire and motivation in the arts with concentrated and focused study in a variety of arts disciplines. The pathway students, many of whom start with us in the seventh grade at Pinkerton, are required to complete 50 credits in a specialized arts program. They are leaders, mentors, and active contributors in our community. Our academy students have accepted admission to every CSU, UC Santa Barbara, UC Irvine, UC Riverside, UC San Diego, Oregon State University, Arizona State University, University of Nevada, Reno, Brigham Young University, the Police Academy, and the list goes on. Many students are utilizing their arts backgrounds to pursue careers in business, entertainment, hospitality, interior design, kinesiology, architecture, civil engineering, nursing, neurobiology, physiology, ministry, film production, dance, music, pre-law, education, and many, many more. Class of 2020, on behalf of the VAPA team, I would like to say thank you for being a part of our family and for being such a strong unit all the way to the end. We know that this great pause was not the way any of us expected to end the year, but you are still the class of 2020. You are visionaries. And we are confident that in spite of this dark cloud that has settled on all of us, the class of 2020 will rise above and pave a clear path for the future. We look forward to hearing about your journeys in the next part of life. And please know that you will always have a home here in the Wolf Den. The VAPA Academy Cord recipients are Drexel Agoncillo, Anjane Allen, Zania Allen, Michelle Ann Arana, Nicole Banuelos, Madeline Basilio, Megan Beckstrom, Corinne Bernards, Jared Brown, Tyler Burke, Abigail Burt, Elijah Carter, Adriana Casalianos, Avian Chan, Jocelyn Chi, Azaria Coleman, Kalea Coleman, Adriana De Lima, Ariel Dela Cruz, Tyler Edmond, Jenna Emmons, Elis Fisher, Allison Fong, Aliyah Gaffney, Lauren Garcia, Paloma Gardner, Connor Gill, Anaya Glasper, Mila Gonzalez, Reina Griffin, Madison Hinshaw, Justin Su, Leslie Wong, Akela Ikmat, Emma Jensen, Kashia Jensen, Allison Kyle, Skyly Close, Sarah Krosick, Kylie Lang, Katie Lee, Ethan Allen Lee, Nicole Lee, Gariel Lopez, Kylie Lowe, Michaela Masui, Layla Mayberry, Nicole Mercado Hernandez, Trevor Mills, Maddie Nguyen, Tommy Nguyen, Andrea Obando, Nayeli Olivares, Rochelle Ortega, Juan Paraiso, Natanya Pearson, Elizabeth Petrosor, Jasmine Pincombe, Christopher Pizarro, Karina Powner, Catalina Ruiz, Rebecca Salmarin, Nicole Saravia, Austin Sloan, Amanda Smith, Emma Stevenson, Jarek Suba, Kellen Ta, John Tabangin, 
Johanna Teich, Alicia Vera, Drew Villani, Jessica White, Jason Williams Moore, Tyler Wimberly, Preston Wong, Kevin Wu, and Jawen Yu. And to close off the night, congrats to all of our seniors who have made it through their four-year journey of high school and finally graduated. And to my fellow seniors, thank you for being part of the VAPA community and representing Wolfpack Arts well. Until next time. Thanks for coming. And good night.
perfect. Oh no! Oh no! You froze, Bob! Oh, sorry. Just... Okay. We'll do it again. My hair okay? My hair okay? It kept falling while I was talking. <laughs> Does it look fine? Stop! Dude! <laughs> it does that anyway. I'm Christina Ball, the vocal music director. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Bloopers of me fixing my hair. Are you rolling? Yeah. The Quincy Jones Musicality Award is Hebbelbe. She's Mirva Kelly. Oh my gosh. Okay, pause. Other than my Elvis curl happening. You are ridiculous. You are ridiculous. Okay. So. Did I freeze again? No. I keep hearing this sound. It's like <laughs> sound. Are you hearing that? No. Hello, I'm Christina Ball, director of vocal music at Christina Oaks High School. <laughs> Kalea Coleman, Adriana DeLima, did I say Delima or Delimo? Come on, let's go. One take, Chan. One take, Chan. Got the chance.